Where Are My Books? by Debbie Ridpath Ohi. Spencer loved books. His favorite bedtime book was Night Night Narwhal. Sometimes he read it aloud. Every night, Spencer put the book back where it belonged. That way, he'd always be able to find it. Until one morning... Where is my book? Spencer looked everywhere, but it was no use. Night Night Narwhal was gone. That evening, he chose Tenacious Todd. It was okay, but Todd was a toad, and toads were amphibians, and amphibian books were supposed to be for right after lunch story time. When Spencer woke up the next morning, Tenacious Todd was gone. Every morning, Another book was missing. Next to go was Send in the Clownfish. Then Beluga Beluga vanished. Sea Monkey and Bob went missing. Things were getting out of hand. Spencer vowed to find out what was going on. His father did not know what happened to Night Night Narwhal. Spencer's mother had no idea either, nor had she seen Tenacious Todd, Sendin the Clownfish, Beluga Beluga, or any of Spencer's other missing books. That left only one person. Where are my books? It was time for a new plan. That night, Spencer set a trap with his copy of Space Frog Sam. The next morning, it was time for Spencer to get his books back. Where are my books? Spencer ran faster. The thief was just around the corner. Aha, he said. That's my book. Spencer didn't know squirrels like to read. It gave him a great idea. Spencer told the squirrels they could borrow his books, but there would be rules. Just like at the library, they had to return the books they borrowed before they could borrow more. But they didn't need to leave anything behind. Spencer even helped them pick out their first book. He chose one for himself, too. And he promised to read it aloud. <laughs> <laughs>